Carol A. Mutter born December 17, 1945, is a former United States Marine Corps Lieutenant General. She is the first woman in the history of the U.S. Armed Forces to be appointed to a three-star grade. She retired from the Marine Corps on January 1, 1999. Her last active duty assignment was as Deputy Chief of Staff, Manpower and Reserve Affairs DC, S, M and RA at Marine Corps Headquarters in Washington, D.C. Early life and education Mutter was born on December 17, 1945 in Greeley, Colorado. In 1967 she was commissioned a second lieutenant in the U.S. Marine Corps upon graduation from the University of Northern Colorado. In addition to holding a BA degree in mathematics education and an honorary doctorate from the University of Northern Colorado, General Mutter has an MA degree in National Security and Strategic Studies from the Naval War College at Newport, Rhode Island and both an MS and an honorary doctorate degree from Sav Regina University, also in Newport. Topic career After completing the Woman Officer Basic Course in 1967 at Marine Corps Base Quantico, she was assigned to data processing installations at Quantico, Virginia and at Camp Pendleton, California. In 1971, she returned to Quantico as a platoon commander and instructor for women officer candidates and basic course lieutenants, she departed this tour as a captain. During 1973–1984, she progressed to the rank of lieutenant colonel while serving as project officer for Marine Air Command and Control Systems at Marine Corps Tactical Systems Support Activity at Camp Pendleton, CA, Financial Management Officer at the Development Center, Quantico, Virginia, Assistant Chief of Staff, Controller, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, Okinawa, Japan, and Deputy Controller at Headquarters, Fleet Marine Force, Atlantic in Norfolk, Virginia. In 1985, capitalizing on her expertise in both data processing and financial management, she was assigned as the Deputy Program Manager, and subsequently Program Manager, for the development of new Marine Corps automated pay and personnel systems for active duty, retired, and reserve Marines. In July 1988, as a colonel, she joined the United States Space Command, J-3, Operations Directorate in Colorado Springs becoming the first woman to gain qualification as a space director. After initially serving as a command center crew commander, space director she became the division chief responsible for the operation of the space command commander in chief's command center. August 1990 brought a transfer to 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force MEF on Okinawa, Japan and duty as the assistant chief of staff, controller for both 3 MEF and 3rd Marine Division. In June 1991, she returned to Quantico as a Brigadier General to serve as the Deputy Commanding General, Marine Corps Systems Command and Program Manager for Command and Control Systems. In June 1992, she again transferred to Okinawa, this time as the first woman of General, Flag Officer rank to command a major deployable tactical command, the 3D Force Service Support Group, 3MEF, U.S. Marine Forces Pacific. In June 1994, she became the first woman in the Marine Corps to be promoted to the rank of Major General and served as Commander, Marine Corps Systems Command at Marine Corps Base Quantico until August 1996. On September 1, 1996, Mutter was promoted to Lieutenant General and assumed the duties as Deputy Chief of Staff for Manpower and Reserve Affairs DC, SM and RA. Lieutenant General Mutter retired in 1999. Mutter also attended the Amphibious Warfare School and the Marine Corps Command and Staff College, both at Quantico, Virginia. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Mutter is married to James Mutter, who is a former US Marine Corps colonel. In 2008, she spoke at the Republican National Committee. Topic. Awards and decorations In 2017, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Topic. Firsts First woman to qualify as Command Center Crew Commander, Space Director at U.S. Space Command. First woman of flag rank to command a major deployable tactical command. First woman Marine Major General, and senior woman in all the services at that time.
First woman nominated by the U.S. President for three-star rank. First female lieutenant general in the U.S. Armed Forces. See also List of female United States military generals and flag officers <laughs>